Hello everybody. Welcome to this GeoGebra tutorial on the export feature in GeoGebra. If this is the first time you're using GeoGebra, please watch the introduction to GeoGebra tutorial on the Spoken Tutorial website. In this tutorial, we will learn about the export feature in GeoGebra to export the drawing pad figures as a static picture and export the GeoGebra file as a dynamic HTML web page. To get started with GeoGebra, I am using the GNU Linux operating system Ubuntu version 10.04 LTS and the GeoGebra version 3.2.40.0. Now to the GeoGebra window. Open any GeoGebra file that you have already created by selecting menu option File, Open. Let us select concentriccircles.ggb and click Open. Let us close the Algebra and the Spreadsheet views if they are open by selecting Menu Option View and unchecking the options. We can use the Move Graphics tool and position the drawing pad objects. You can choose to select objects to export or you may export the entire drawing pad if you don't select any of the objects. Select menu option, file, export, graphics view as picture. Select the format of the file you want to export. Let us select PNG. You can change the scale here. We will leave the default values. You can increase or decrease the resolution here. Click Save. Select the folder name here. Select the file name. The file type is already here, PNG, and click Save. To summarize, select the objects on the drawing pad or leave it unselected. To export the entire drawing pad. Select the menu option File, Export, Graphics view as picture. Choose the format, scale and resolution and save the exported file. Now to the second part of the lesson. To export GeoGebra as a dynamic web page. Let us First, open a GeoGebra file, for example, interiorangles.ggb. Now select Menu Option, File, Export, Dynamic Worksheet as Web Page. A box appears. Enter the title, author name and date. There are two tabs, the General and the Advanced. In the General tab, you can enter the text you want to put above the construction and below the construction. Let us add this text to appear above the construction. I will cut and paste the information by pressing Ctrl X on the keyboard and then Ctrl V again on the keyboard. Move the vertices of the triangle and observe the values of the interior angles of the triangle. Now, below the construction add, observe what happens when A, B and C are on a straight line by dragging the vertices. Now to the advanced tab. There are a number of checkboxes that add feature and options of GeoGebra to include as part of the GeoGebra page. To enable the right-click feature on the web page, check this. To enable moving labels, check this. To have an icon that resets the construction to the original position, check this. If you want GeoGebra application window to open on your computer when you double-click on the GeoGebra web page, check this. If you want the menu bar, toolbar and input bar or save and print features to appear on the web page, select the appropriate boxes here. 
you can change the width and the height of the GeoGebra window that appears on the web page here. Select export and save it as a HTML file to view in the browser. As I use the Firefox web browser, it immediately opens once I export it. You can notice the text above the construction as well as below the construction. You can move the vertices as this is a dynamic web page and observe the changes to the figure. To summarize, open a GeoGebra file that you have already created. Select menu option File Export Dynamic Worksheet as web page. Choose the title, text and advanced features and export your GeoGebra file as a web page HTML file. View the HTML file using a web browser. You may need to install Java for GeoGebra to work on your web browser. Now to the assignments. Open any GeoGebra file and export as a static picture by selecting certain objects or the whole drawing pad. And as a dynamic web page, in the dynamic web page include the following features. The reset option and the toolbar option. Watch the video available at this website. It summarizes the Spoken Tutorial project. If you do not have good bandwidth, you can download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial project team conducts workshops using Spoken Tutorials. Give certificates to those who pass an online test. For more details, contact this email address. Spoken Tutorial Project is part of the Talk to a Teacher project. It is supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT, MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at this website. Thank you. This is Bindu from IT for Change Bengaluru signing off. Enjoy exploring GeoGebra.